All right, just a few days away now from Christmas, and it is the greatest time of year to give back to those in need. A local teenager is doing what she can to make the holidays a little merrier for kids in hospice care. 8 News Now anchor Sasha Loftus joined us live in the South Valley with more Sasha on today's touching donation event. Denise and Brian, Ayanna Castro and her mom say this all started during the pandemic. They started writing letters to hospice patients who couldn't have visitors at the time. Well, it's turned into a yearly tradition, and this year they're help or setting their sights on helping kids in need. Two, one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> and this group making sure everyone feels the joy of the season. So important that we bring a little bit of joy to these families during this time. At just 14 years old, Ayana Castro is leading her third Christmas donation drive for hospice patients in the Las Vegas Valley. And this year, the team is focusing on kids being treated by pro-care hospice. I'm doing things like this is not just helping, you know, are the kid that's on our service, but it's helping everyone who is involved in their medical journey. Brooke Kowalski and Megan Beardsley work to care for pediatric patients and their families. These kiddos are some of the toughest patients I've ever had the privilege to work with. They are medically fragile, um, but they are so robust and tough of spirit. They say the time and effort taken to donate all these gifts means so much. I'm just blown away at how many people have reached out, how many hearts have opened up to us. And Ayana tells me she hopes those dealing with the toughest of times know that there will always be people here doing everything they can to bring them a magical holiday. We really like realize how much it matters to them, that people are still caring about them and thinking about them and that they're loved. Now everyone brought all those presents into the conference room here at Pro Care Hospice and families will be able to pick out presents for their kids who are in hospice care before Christmas on Monday. Now the caregivers also tell me there were so many gifts donated. They will have enough for Christmas and for holidays and birthdays this coming year as well. Reporting live tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.